I'm Shireen. I was born in Canada, Toronto, and then I moved to Australia when I was a kid, and then back to Hong Kong, and now here I am in Taiwan for two years. I'm a TV host and an underwater model. I love nature and outdoor activities. Actually, I've been to Canton for several times because of work, but I have no time to explore all the secret places here, since Canton is a treasure. It's full of amazing and fun activities here. That's why here's an opportunity for me to discover this place with my partners. Hi, are you Sharon? Hi, yes I am. I'm Zoe. Zoe, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Hi, nice to meet how you. are you? I'm good, good, mm. excited. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm 18 years old and I'm from England. I've been living in Taipei for almost three months now and uh, I'm really excited to get to know the people who are going to be showing me around today. Um, I haven't been back in Kenting since I was seven years old and last time I was here I was really sick so hopefully I can make some really great new memories here. I really like doing physical activities like swimming, hiking so hopefully you get to do a bit of that and I also really enjoy more creative pursuits like painting, uh, listening to music and singing. Um, I think that I'm definitely going to make some great memories here even though I haven't met the people yet I think they're going to be really fun and interesting. They definitely have some great activities in store. Anything yeah. you don't eat? Uh, I'm pescatarian, so fish is fine, but no okay. lamb meat. Okay, I got it. I'm Shireen. Oh, hi. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi. hi. You are? Hey. Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Hi, I'm Noe. I'm from Spain, and I've been living in Taiwan for 11 years. And I'm so excited to be joining this show, Come Away With Me, because I want to see more things, I want to do more things, I want to experience more things, and I'm not going to do it alone. I know I have two partners, but I don't know them yet, so I'm super excited to meet them. And I like swimming, I like uh, hiking, I like uh, water sports, uh, anything. So I'm so excited because it's gonna be Kenting and Pintong and it's so different because I come from Taipei. So I just cannot wait. Oh, yes, yeah. girls free. <laughs> okay, perfect. So let's start our adventure. Okay, sure. Ready? Yes. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kenting is located in Hanchuan Peninsula, the southmost tip of Taiwan. It is surrounded by the sea on three sides and has a tropical climate. It is warm all year round, rich in fluoride and fauna, as well as special natural landscapes. Kenting is famous for their long white sandy beaches and clear blue seas. There are also unique local cultural heritage and is one of the most popular vacation spots in Taiwan. So here we are, the Asian city gate of Hong Tuan, and it's located in the center of the township. And this is uh, one of Taiwan's main island's most well-preserved historical building, and it's listed as national second degree of historical site. Wow. Guess how long history? Mm, over 100 years? Yeah, around 140 years. Oh. Mm. And here is Nanmen, because there are four city gates, east, west, south, and north, and this is the south one. Mm -hmm. And it's also called Mingdo Gate. Mingdo, why? Why? Because this is the main gate that can go through Nanwan okay. and Kenting. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So you look at the wall. You guess which three materials they use to build this wall? Stone. Mm -hmm. um, okay, a little tip. It's yeah. all food. All food. Right. Mm. Rice. Rice. Right. Glutes rice paste. Uh -huh. And then cane syrup. Wow. And then oyster shell. Really? Oh. Yeah, they build it. But now they renovate it very well. Mm -hmm. mm. It looks like it's great. Yeah. yeah. It's very nice. So yeah, we can start from south and then we can go all through north, mm. west and east. Okay. Okay. Shall we? Yeah. yeah, let's go. Oh, Good. steep. You're right. Be careful. It's so steep and slippery. Careful. <laughs> yeah. And you can see, actually, this gate, people, local people come in and out mm. daily. Oh. So this is the most familiar gate for them. Okay. And passing through the gate, you can see a local old market. Mm. And there's local food and snacks. The north gate. You can see this gate to facilitate Hanchuan traffic, so it's kind of busy. So be careful of the car. Okay, safe to go. I can stay here whole day. <laughs> yeah, just relaxing in here. Oh yeah. The reason why I bring them here is because I think it's a very interesting activity in Canton. And actually I have tried twice, one in Dubai and one in Kualien. And different sports have different environment, different view, and we can see different things and different landscapes. So I, have been, I haven't been here too, so I'm very excited. The quad bikes are bigger than I thought they would be. They're big. I've never driven one before, so I'm a bit nervous because um, I don't want to crash. Yeah, mostly nervous. And I don't know how far we're going to be riding for or for how long. I don't know how to drive a car. I've never driven a motorbike. I might be really bad at it. So excited. Oh, I'm going to love that. It's like a quad. I think I never ride it, but I always see it in the beach. People riding like this kind of, so I think I'm gonna be good at that. I'm good at driving. I'm so excited about this one.
<laughs> yeah. Here, here, here. Hello. Here. Yay. Okay. things up there. Mm -hmm. We are like riding in the woods. Yeah. So many trees and skies and a view. It's perfect. Yeah. It was amazing. Right. I, I wanted to stop to see more. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time I wanted to run. Yeah. Right, right. But I didn't try and right. I thought I was gonna love it. Mm. But now I tried and I made sure I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I felt really nervous before. I was really scared. Um, the helmet made me feel a bit better mm. and then when we started I was like pressing it and then stopping and pressing and stopping and pressing and stopping. <laughs> but eventually I got the hang of it, I think, and started to feel more confident. And then yeah. on the way back, still a bit nervous. No. It's going down. Uh -huh. But I saw you, I saw you, you got it. Yeah, yeah, we got there in the end. Yeah, so now yeah, after yeah. I feel really good and I, I want to do it again for sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Shall we go to our next set of piece? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> So now we are in a chocolate garden. Yeah. You like chocolate? I oh, love yeah. it. Me too. Oh. So you pay here. We'll introduce us how the chocolate is, how it's planted, and its function. You can see it on the flowers. There are these beautiful flowers. Yes, these are the coconut flowers. The coconut flower is unique. It's not made from the coconut oil. It's made from the coconut oil. Now you can see these coconut flowers are made from the coconut flowers. Oh, you can feel like there's a ball inside. Yeah. You can feel it. I think it's very interesting for me to visit a chocolate farm mm -hmm. because I always eat chocolate. But I didn't know that wow, the fruits of the chocolate is so big. Mm -hmm. And we cannot hate mosquitoes anymore yeah. Yeah. because they help a lot in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow! Uh, oh, okay. Whoa, it looks like mango steam. Right, right, right. Mmm, it's mm. fruity. Yeah, yeah. I cannot do chocolate. It's like I a feel like lychee. Mmm. And so many procedures to eventually make the product. Mm. I was surprised. Chocolate comes from a really yummy fruit. It's like it was so good. When I saw the names, mm. you know, like the number one, number two, number three, yeah. with the criollo and uh, forastero, with all the Spanish names, chocolate come actually from South America. Mm. So well, I love chocolate, and there is a reason. Now we are now we are like antiseptic. Right. Yeah, it's a little bit of but it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit 
。那我们做完七天发酵之后啊，就是要像这样子到外面来做一个阳光的曝晒。对，那我们每天都是需要去翻动它，让它各个角落都可以均匀的去晒到阳光。So which one is your favorite chocolate product? Banana. Oh yeah. Mm, that one was really good. For me, it's a tangerine skin. Oh yeah, that was really mm. good. Surprisingly good. Because when the chocolate is good quality, it doesn't yeah. matter what you put inside, it's gonna taste good. Yeah. Now every time I eat chocolate, I would think of you girls. So here we are, Han Chun Folk Museum, and they have Moon Guitar. This culture is very unique in Han Chun, and they want to inherit this culture and don't want them to last. So let me introduce Gao Mama. Gao Mama welcome. is welcome. Welcome. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Gao Mama is the owner, chair lady of the museum, wow. and she will introduce us all about Moon Guitar and the culture later. So are you ready? Yeah. Here, come on in. Thank you. Let me introduce Master Wu. He is the Moon Guitar Master and who have played Moon Guitar for almost 30 years. And recently just performed in the Golden Melody Awards for Traditional Arts and Music. I don't think England has anything like this. Mm. This is really unique and um, very special to Taiwan, I think. Definitely, yes. Yeah. I mean, it's mm. Spanish, it's like, a, it's like he said, depends on the mood. Mm. It's really similar, like mm. really different, but really similar. I felt so touched today by Wu Lao Shi. Master Wu is amazing. Especially Master Wu is a very important person in this Moon Guitar category. And he inherited this culture and this Moon Guitar to like to the kids for today and to us. Mm -hmm. And we can spread this culture to our own friends in our own country. It's amazing. Right. Okay. This one. Here. Yes. Okay. Ah. I would definitely bring one to Spain because the Spanish already have it inside, like playing, so and definitely with, they would love it mm. to see something like with two strings so special, can make so many notes like uh, with only two strings normally you need six right guitar is six right yeah bass you need four at least but two and such amazing sounds mm. and so many so yeah. it's amazing We have 
so much fun today. Right? Wow, it was an amazing day. Right. So now we're back to the start and we can chill and have some amazing snacks mm -hmm. in here, Ocean Cafe. Yes, in front of the beautiful ocean. Right. Yeah. We're the first row on the beach. Yeah. This resort is amazing. It has everything. Yeah. Look at the sky, mm -hmm. the trees, the and environment, the yeah. wave sounds. Mm. Wow. So chill and relaxing. Mm -hmm. Hi, good morning, morning, welcome, welcome. Since we're here in Canton, I would like you to experience an underwater world to do scuba diving, to have oh a fun dive. <laughs> so yes. cool! But before that, we have to take a lesson. Okay. So okay. Tony sure. is a scuba diver instructor. Okay. So if you have any question about scuba diving, you can ask me. Okay, okay yeah. great. And okay. I have to prepare our next activities. Okay. So, here we go. Tony, join me. Okay, okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Because they are beginners, so they can only stay in the shallow water. But in here, Canton, even shallow water, we can see a very white sandy beach and some uh, coral reef, or we can see crown fish maybe. So I hope they can see all of this this time. So do you have any experience Me with this scuba diving? Me neither. At all. Okay. So we're gonna do knowledge development first. Okay. Then we will practice skills at the shallow water. Let's go through our uh, knowledge. Now the air could be compressed under the water. So you can imagine it's, it's blue here. Mm -hmm. so you put the blue into the water, uh, the size of the body will become smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. okay, once we go 10 meters, the size will become half. Okay. 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 If you hold your breath, once you ascend to the surface, you will allow more over expansion. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this forever because I, I want to do it since I'm a child, but I have zero experience. I've never done it before, but Tony was great. He explained us everything super clear. So I got the theory right, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit afraid of the practice, but, but I think it's gonna be okay. Just relax, just like he told me, just, just breathe like, like you're drinking bubble, permit tea. I'm feeling really reassured actually because we have the two instructors with us the whole time so we get to just relax and enjoy the scene um, and I know that we're going to be practicing in shallow water as well so we get to really make sure we're comfortable before we go in deep and I'm also very excited because I've never done scuba diving before in the ocean it's going to be a very um, great new experience, I think. Before I said I was a little bit afraid, I was really afraid <laughs> but i was trying to it's amazing everyone should try i i mean tony was a great instructor so i knew i was in the best hands i mean like a movie like a dream it's like another world down there it's 
Oh my God, I never expected it was gonna be so beautiful. Like the coral reefs moving and the so many fish and oh, I have no words. I saw Nemo, <laughs> I saw a lot of Nemos and the coral, I didn't know there were so many different species. Like they were like little bubbles and they were like dancing. How can it be so clean and so blue and so clear here? And Argentine water, oh my God, it has nothing to envy to another islands that this is it's paradise. The water is so clear and so beautiful. I think that if you're in Taiwan, you should take advantage of the fact that you can have such beautiful water and have such a great experience in such a close um, area. I saw a mermaid. Believe me, I saw a mermaid. The most beautiful mermaid I've ever seen. I was like, oh, it's the most beautiful mermaid. I was so surprised. She wanted to do a surprise. She totally nailed it because I was Unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. In Canton, underwater world is very famous and we can always see a lot of different fish and coral here. So that's why I bring them to here to experience scuba diving. And the reason why I'm wearing my way tail is because I want to give them a surprise. And when I was a kid, I loved to watch Ariel. And actually, it's not easy to be a mermaid. Like, underwater, you have to hold your breath and you have to, like, your facial expression and your hair control. So, I hope you will love it and have a wonderful trip in Canton. I didn't expect to see Sharon as a mermaid. That really surprised me because I was just like looking around at the fish and then suddenly she was above us. And um, we were like almost eight meters deep or eight, eight to 10 meters deep and she could come all the way down. So that was really impressive. Yeah, I, I didn't know how she could hold her breath for so long. Well, it's been like every we do together it's just getting better and better it's like she's she tried so hard to surprise us and it was so cool i don't know it's like we're bonding so much really just a few days and i feel like it's the best company i could have i'm so happy to make this trip with them Hello, this is Luo San Feng, like art festival from 2019 to now. Mm. So it will be like turn to the third year. I think the first one we walked through, mm. the wind, I really like that. I like how we can interact with it and go through and also how it had the um, fruit plastic packaging. Right, right. We combine around 15 different artists to do all the exhibition here. The area here is so large and I saw something very special on the beach too. Yes, they got another four artists exhibition there mm. and one of them looks like a skateboard. Oh. But like, it's good that you can stand in on top and I have a photo. His name is Cole Plata's Villa. So this piece will go out during the Chinese New Year, the second day on the beach. 
to that walk to the public to see like, how they working. So today we are here to taste the famous tea in Hangchun. And we use less tea leaf inside and use the hot water. Because of the low attitude, so we have to act fast. Just five seconds is enough. Wow. So this color is Taiwan's most beautiful color of tea. Right. Beautiful. Shall we? What do you think? Wow. Really good. Different. Yeah. Most original species in Taiwan. So we can later on to understand how it works. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Can't wait. Because of too much sunlight and a downhill wind, so this environment can make this grow so nice. It's very special. Wow. We today's mission is to collect such small plants, and then we fill the pots with water. Yes. We have to fill up the pots. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! Then we wait for the tea leaves to grow. Oh, okay. Then we wait for the tea leaves to grow. Oh, okay. Then we wait for the tea leaves to grow. 我可以想象，当有这么多汤，你做这么多汤，一定很难。所以，我非常感谢你。所以，当我是小孩，我们喝茶每周。所以，我非常喜欢喝茶。但，这是我第一次做这个进步，从零到一百。所以，这是一个很特别的经验，对我来说。对我，我一直说，但是，我非常兴奋，因为我非常期待知道，在台湾。Tea is the right. same as in Spanish tea. Right. I think it's so cool. <laughs> I was like, huh? What did she say? Is it really the same word? Yeah. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna tell my family. You right. can already know, speak a little bit of Chinese. Right. You can say te. Right. Quiero te. Me gusta el te. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so cool. I was so excited. Right. Yeah. So I think it's so much work finally everything is so fast mm -hmm. like everything is so slow the process is so slow you have to pick it up you have to dry you yeah. have to pack it and then finally it's like one two three four five and drink <laughs> so yeah So we just tried a pot of tea and tea bun, and here also there is a special dessert, which is the tea ice cream. Oh yeah! Yay! Wow. 
I wonder what it tastes like. Lao Ban, why do you think you want to make this tea with a cup of tea? Because now people don't drink tea, so we can make some tea with some tea. Tea with tea and tea with tea. Tea with tea. I love you. You know, I told you, it's like, I don't drink tea that much. It's so hot. I don't drink tea hot. So in cold form, it's like, Right, especially like in Italy or in Spain, mm -hmm. when we ask for like warm water or warm tea, they will think, "Are you sick?" Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So like this is perfect. Right. Yeah. Very nice. And the tea of the taste of the tea with the ice cream, perfect match. Perfect dessert. Mm -hmm. Such a lovely weather today. Oh my god, is this our bong? Yes, today I prepared a very special yard party for you guys. Oh yes, thanks. It's so cute. Just like your dress, it's pink. I, I knew it. Oh, yeah. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. a good friend of mine, Shen Shen, and it's a captain of today. Yay. Woo. Just now on the way to here, we're passing through a mountain and it's called Da Jian San. It's like a cone shape. That's oh. why it's called Da Jian San. And it's in a national park. And here we can see at our back is another very famous landmark called Sail Rock. Oh my god. Rock. But the reason is because the shape is like a sailboat. Oh. That's why we call it Sail Rock. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm. When you go down there, it's like 18 meters. Can you dive under? Yes, we can. It's a famous spot for, for divers. Oh. I've never been on a boat like this before and not in Kenting. Normally when I'm on a boat, it's small and fast and I feel a bit seasick, but this is completely different. So it's very special, yeah. I love the mountains. I love looking at just like scenes like this. It makes me feel very happy and calm. The company, seriously, it's like... Be careful this figure. <laughs> it's like we've met forever, okay? It's like we never met before. Right. And it's like, really, I think we're gonna be friends, yeah. definitely. Mm. I feel like we're sisters. Yay. Yeah. Because my husband is scared of everything. <laughs> it's like he wants to swim, he wants, he's seasick. So I think coming with them is just my opportunity finally to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. As I have a very important mission this time, I have to plan a wonderful trip, special, unique, and unforgettable trip for two girls. So I've planned this trip for like two weeks to think about what should I do, where should I bring them to? Because I know Canton is a very wonderful place. Though I came here for work for many times, but I don't have time to really explore the secret place here. So I would like to take this opportunity, not only for me, but for both of my foreign friends to know more about Canton. Thank you, Taiwan Plus, for me to have this opportunity and to meet two wonderful girls. Because like we first day, we are not too familiar with each other. But after the time we spent, Canteen really connect us a lot. 
and we spend a wonderful time together. So I suggest and recommend friends, family with kids or couple. They will have the best time here in Canton. So at first I was really nervous because I was going to be living with two people who I've never met before and I, was, I had no idea what I was going to be doing either. So I had no idea what to expect, very, very nervous. But now after two days, we've really bonded very well and living together and holding each other's hands through difficult, difficult activities and new activities like scuba diving and quad biking um, made us really bond. So I definitely feel like I trust them and I know them really well. And I'm so excited to um, continue visiting them and seeing them for the next 10 months while I'm here. Uh, I think mm, the most special experience so far of the trip, of the two days, was definitely the Moon Guitar Museum because being able to see the whole of Hun Chun come together um, and preserve this tradition that's been going on for hundreds of years was really um, beautiful. It reminded me how important community is because everyone comes together and shares this and it's passed down and it has been played like hundreds and hundreds of years ago, people were doing the same thing. So being able to see the children learn from their elders and the elders pass down their knowledge was very, very special. I feel like Kanding is definitely now very special because riding through, I remember looking at the back of the van when we were on the way to scuba diving and just looking at the, be the long road and the beautiful greenery, I just thought, mm, like I want to come here all the time, I want to live here, I want to bring my family here and, and show this place to my loved ones because the lifestyle is so unique and so different to anything in England um, and it was definitely a really good experience and I think that this, this time will stay with me. I wasn't nervous, that's the truth because I was always fine, I always want to meet people but I, met, I didn't just meet two new persons, I met two new friends. Scuba diving, okay scuba diving is really fun, it was amazing and it was something I wanted to do for a long time. Then I went down and I realized, first, we are smaller than we think, way smaller than we think. And second, and the most important thing, even though it was super fun and super beautiful, it made me think we need to raise awareness about taking care of nature. It's really important because I went down there and I saw all the beautiful light. The quad, that was really cool because I love driving, but I can't drive in Taiwan because I don't have the Taiwanese driver license because I think you have to be born in Taiwan to drive in Taiwan, it's so hard. There are so many scooters and so many, I'm so scared. So being able to drive something, I was like, Come on, everyone, go faster! Because I was the last one and I just wanted to. Ah. <laughs> so it made me feel so good and feeding the tears. It was so cute. And the chocolate today, wow, what can I say? All the hard work behind. And the moon guitar. Well, what can I say? My husband is a guitarist. Music is, is the way we met. So. Uh, I, I, I need to bring him to meet Master Wu because it's like two opposite generations of musicians in Taiwan and so different uh, kind of music like folklore and rock. So I think they will, they, they, I think they can play together. I think it will be super cool. Well, you saw us. I mean, we learned the song in five minutes. Do you know how good those kids are? They taught us in five minutes how to play. They were. Oh my God, the kids were amazing. But there are still young generations are gonna continue this beautiful tradition. Mm -hmm. I only came to Kentin 10 years ago for a concert that they used to have here in Kentin. And that was it. It was a concert and go back to Taipei. So now that I live this experience, I'm so happy, but I wanna leave it with my husband too, because he came to work, so he didn't leave anything of this. And definitely my family, I'm bringing everyone that comes to Taiwan, Cantina is going to be one stop for sure.